Hey everybody, welcome back with another Destiny video. This one is on calcified fragments and how to get a few of them. We've got 20 that we're going to go through real quick. So, first one, when you spawn in, right on the hull breach, you're going to want to head to the right and up this broken piece of ship. You're going to want to jump all the way up to the very, very tippy top and there should, should be a calcified fragment for you right there waiting. And yep, there it is right there so that was number one okay number two still on the hull breach in between some two broken pieces of ship it just kind of broken half a little maybe a, a pillar there but it's in between there uh, number three is in the lower half of the hull breach you're gonna want to find this cave and to the left we got some uh, containment cells there's the worm singer rune chest for you when you get a worm singer key and just across from that on the left of that containment unit, we have the uh, calcified fragment. Yep, there it is, right there. That is number three. Okay, number four. On the mausoleum, you want to look for this opening that's got the uh, crawl space to the left, and you're going to want to jump up on this ledge. Uh, you'll see a calcified fragment right about there when you jump up, but you also want to wait in here for about uh, about a minute or so. Now, now's a good time to switch your stats over to agility, and uh, if you need to, break out your meta multi-tool. Uh, this next one coming up is a timed ch uh, challenge, so you definitely need to uh, get speed on your side here. And see, you can see the screen is going uh, a little bit greenish right now, and we got the scent of the worm buff. So now, you have 60 seconds to run all the way over to the uh, invisible platforms in the back of the mausoleum. We're going to go for the left one, and you may want to get a friend involved too, because they can help you uh, find where the platforms are before uh, you do. You know, they can get the ghost out and, and, and search for you, and you can just kind of jump on top of them when they uh, when they reach them. Uh, when you land, thralls are going to appear, so just ignore them, because uh, you can't kill them anyway. Uh, and then, if you have about five seconds left on your timer, that should be enough time to open up the chest, and there you'll find a calcified fragment and some goodies. Okay, now on the right side of the uh, mausoleum, in the back, on the, the platform completely opposite to it, there's another chest there and another fragment. Uh, when you go right to the very back of the platform, it should be hidden in the corner. Yep, it'll be right there. Right there. Okay, in the mausoleum, uh, headed towards the founts. You're going to want to take the left path uh, when you get that gets you to the founts. Go all the way down towards the back where that uh, gate is, and there'll be a calcified fragment right there on the floor that you can reach through the fence with. Okay, um, next in the founts, you're going to want to take a right instead of a left coming out of that pathway, and you're going to want to jump up all the way to the top, and there'll be a calcified fragment on that pile of bones. And uh, I want to take this moment to apologize that they're not there. I had some recording failures, so I went back and did a couple. So, my apologies. Okay, number eight in the founts um, is on the lower level. You're going to want to wrap around a bit. You pass the gate that's right there. Um, and you're going to want to look for the little crawl space right there. And uh, to the left of that crawl space is going to be a few coffins. They are the ones uh, that you want to get to. And there's one at the back that has a, a door you can shoot. Just pick up that fragment after you destroy that door. And that's number nine. Okay. Uh, over in the Hall of Souls, by the court, you're going to want to jump down, mine the lava, and uh, jump right onto that pillar to the right of the court, and it should be right on the corner, and there it is. That's number ten. Okay. Um, coming out of the court, take the right path, go down and then it loops up and you're gonna wanna jump on these uh, these pillars that look like stairs right over here and uh, it'll be sitting on another pillar now it's very dark in there so when you jump there mind the uh, mind the darkness and mind the gap <laughs> uh, and then you'll be able to pick it up when you when you look around okay uh, Hall of Souls still you wanna grab the wall with the hole in it, you know, and jump on the invisible platforms. 
Um, and then you're going to want to go down the hallway, take a left right here instead of a right, and there'll be a fragment hidden in between two broken pillars. Go on and pick that up, and we'll have uh, 12 fragments. Okay, making your way down towards the trenchway after you just got the previous fragment, come out the door and take a left and uh, jump on the hidden platform. You're going to want to go inside the room there, and it'll be a little bit dark, so the ghost will provide you some light. You're going to want to take your first right, and it'll be in the corner in the back. Okay, coming out in the trenchway, take a right instead of a left, and there'll be a series of hidden platforms that you will want to take that will get to a secret ledge. Um, so this one's a bit tricky because there's a lot more jumping involved, and the ledge is also hidden. Uh, so definitely take your time with that one. There's a piece of Crota's soul that you can scan in the back if you want, but you know it, it's something you probably already heard. Um, anyway, the, the calcified fragment will be to the left of the of the soul fragment, the soul shard or Crota's soul, whatever, uh, by a containment unit. Number fourteen, or that was number fourteen. Number fifteen, sorry. After the trenchway, go straight, go in towards where we had the story mode uh, missions, the very first one. Um, and you're going to want to drop down the ledge because you won't, you will not die to be, you know, surprisingly, you will not die. Uh, but look for that pile of bones and rubble over there and it'll be sitting at the, uh, at the very top. And that is the calcified fragment. Number 15, number 16 is coming up. Same area, but you're going to want to go down the entire pathway, go down to the opposite end of where the previous fragment was. And, uh, you'll see a door that leads to... Uh, oryx in one of the missions here's where you want to start walking sideways and it'll be hiding in kind of the caved in part of the wall there so go ahead and pick that up okay number 17 uh, you want to do the mission regicide uh, so the first fragment in this mission is going to be on one of the supporting well, beams that keeps the stairs up you're just going to want to walk all the way down and uh, the little faint blue light is your treasure that we've all been waiting for. And there it is, beautiful. Okay, number 17, after you've cleared the ads out in the same area, pull your ghost out and there will be some hidden platforms that you can jump to. Uh, this one's also a bit tricky, so you're definitely gonna wanna take your time with it. And uh, eventually, when you get there, you're gonna wanna look underneath the bridge and there'll be a ledge that you can go to. Um, that ledge is, is an interesting spot to hide one and uh, right in the corner there will be a calcified fragment and there it is right there beautiful all right uh, still in the same mission after you made your way through that part you're gonna want to you're gonna hit up the trenchway and you're gonna want to just go straight as if you were gonna complete uh, the mission however instead of going through uh, to the path of oryx you're gonna want to take a left right when you hit the stairs and there'll be a calcified fragment hidden inside the left side of the wall right there all right uh number 19 is going to be in the sunless cell strike mission make your way through until you reach this bridge with all these hanging coffins slash lanterns i'm not really sure what they are uh, but you can jump on them and there will be a ledge that you're able to get to up there uh, when you get up there, there should be a calcified fragment waiting for you in the corner. Oh, and there it is. There's the faint blue light that we all love to see now. Boom. Number 19. All right. And last but not least, number 20. This one's a bit of a long mission, and I've included the Cade um, text when he talks to you. So what you want to get is Skyburner's Command Beacon. You can pick this up from any Cabal that, that you fight on the Dreadnought. They have a chance of dropping it. Head over to the Hull Breach and activate that panel that's inside the Cabal Docking Bay. Uh, so when the Cabal pop out, you're going to want to take them out as quickly as possible. You know, the enemies aren't overly difficult here, so don't be concerned uh, about dying or anything like that. It really isn't that tough. Um, if you have people in your fire team too, they will receive credit for the mission as long as only one person is, is actually on the mission. They'll all receive credit. So if you have friends you want to do this with, go nuts. That's the guy you're looking for right there. 
You want to take him out as quickly as possible because he'll drop the next piece for the mission. Um, and after this, after you pick up this, the Skyburner's deployment codes, um, you'll end up doing a, a various amounts of uh, patrol-based missions. Um, so you want to head over to the mausoleum where the other half of the Cabal ship is sticking out. And you want to find the uh, the little crawl space that the Cabal have. Um, I think it's kind of like a command center or something for them, like that specific section. Uh, but right in here is where you want to go. In the mausoleum, right in here. There we go, okay. You want to look for, um, obviously, any chests you can pick up. Uh, but you want to look for that panel to the right of that chest there. That'll start the patrol missions as long as you have the Skyburner's uh, deployment codes. So we can listen to Cade for a bit now. Guardian, we've tapped into an open comms channel. I'm putting a marker through to your ghost. We need to know what the Cabal are planning and we need to know now. Get going. Alright, so now we can take this opportunity real quick to talk about uh, the Calcified Fragments in general. Um, there's 50 that you want to collect, and at the end of it, apparently you get a very interesting weapon. I've heard it's a rocket launcher, but honestly, I don't know. Um, I've heard it's good, though. Signal's getting clearer, just not clear enough. Keep moving. So, the Calcified Fragments, they can drop from chests on the Dreadnought, they can drop from... Uh, doing the Court of Orcs. Uh, you, there's a few in the raid, apparently, that you can pick up. So, you know, the the more you can get, the, the better. Um, they show up like golden chests on your map. So I would imagine that they are unique to some degree. But, uh... You never know. I've got a read on a Cabal crack squad mixing it up with the Taken. Pinpoint their location before the Cabal go dark. Uh, so the the calcified fragments, I most of them, I, apparently there are 25 on the ship that are just hidden. And there are 50 in total. So I think half come from drops. That includes chests. And half come from uh, just finding them somewhere in the Dreadnought. So definitely take your time and look for them. And they're worth getting. You know, I've heard the weapon is very valuable, very hard to get. It's very, very strong. It may be a staple in raids, much like the Hunger of Crota was if you didn't have a Galahorn back in, in Season 1, or Year 1. Um, so here's the guy you want to get for the patrol mission. You just want to kill him uh, and get out. Just kill him, move on, and, and that's it. Alright, so the Skyburner's Command uh, Security Pass, or whatever the hell it's called, that's the item you really want. That that will open up the door that was back in, in the Cabal Command Center that we couldn't open earlier because you needed those codes. So now if you go back in that, in that area, as we make our way over, um, you're going to want to jump all the way in and get to that door over there. Get to this door right here. And uh Guardian, we've tapped into an open There we go. Chest open sesame. And this should be number twenty. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something. I hope that you will uh get any you missed. And have an awesome day.